It seems as though Bitcoin could not become more complicated. And yet, cryptocurrencies backed by the blockchain continue to evolve. And uh, one sphere that uh, a cryptocurrency has always been strong in is cybercrime. For Tech Republicans, Net, I'm Dan Patterson with Danny Palmer, who wrote about the switch to digital currencies and how that has made law enforcement's lives a lot more complicated. Hey, Danny, uh, so this, this is an interesting switch away from Bitcoin to alternative cryptocurrencies. Why are cyber criminals making this switch, and how does this compound problems that law enforcement already have with tracking down uh, uh, thieves use, using anonymous cryptocurrency? Well, one of the reasons for the switch is arguably something that uh, we discussed in the run up to Christmas. The, the surge in, in bit, the price of Bitcoin and its volatility means its price is fluctuating by the day, meaning it's for some uh, cyber criminals that's good. So it means they're sitting on a stockpile of cash they can, they can, they can withdraw at some point in the future. For others, it means having to change their prices on a daily basis, which Imagine you in a store and you have to change your prices on a daily or even hourly basis to reflect the you know, fluctuations in the euro or the dollar or the pound or something like that. Um, the other reasons cyber criminals are switching, um, particularly to a cryptocurrency called Monero, is it offers more privacy to them. Uh, Bitcoin is difficult to track down the wallets of, but it's not impossible. Law enforcement has actually managed to track some criminals using this. Monero, which has been in existence since about 2014, offers the users much more security and privacy uh, to such an extent that there's even not even a history of what transactions have been made or who's really making them, meaning it's much, much harder to track the users down. Um, it's still way behind Bitcoin in terms of popularity, but we have seen some instances of it being used uh, within the last year. Uh, a high profile example of a form of ransomware using it uh, during 2017 was a uh, Kirk ransomware uh, based on, it sort of came with various Star Trek imagery uh, appropriately, which asked for uh, Monero in, instead of Bitcoin as the ransom payment. Ultimately because it's gonna be more difficult to track the uh, criminals down. Um, Indeed, Rob, Rob Wainwright, the executive director of the law enforcement body Europol, uh, thinks that this year we're going to see a progressive shift towards um, cryptocurrencies that aren't Bitcoin, which is going to make it more difficult for law enforcement to track criminals down. So, Danny, how are law enforcement agencies responding to uh, cyber criminals uh, moving to alternative cryptocurrencies? In in a word, it's it's difficult for them because like Bitcoin before it, this is sort of uncharted territory for them. Uh, with Bitcoin, there was some clues as to who the users might be. But with things like Monero, um, it, it's much, much more difficult for them. Um, it's almost back to the square one, as it were, because there's, there's not really any trace of how to find the, those using it unless they slip up, which I imagine in some cases they will, because even though these are and in a lot of cases, professional organizations, they do make mistakes and do provide holes which law enforcement can look into and track them down. All right, Danny Palmer, senior reporter for ZDNet. Um, uh, to help us kind of stay on top of the continuing evolution of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, do you have any recommended stories that people uh, should read to make sure that they are on top of uh, all of these changes? Yes, there was one I wrote just toward, towards the end of last year, which was about the uh, fluctuation in Bitcoin and how it was in, in impacting both well, criminals and, I suppose, uh, law enforcement around it, um, which is an interesting subject, especially as Bitcoin is still fluctuating now. Um, it's not as high in value as it was, but it's still, it's still changing, which who knows what, where it will go in the future.